proud of that locker room. That's a, a big win um, in an incredible environment. Uh, we talked at the end of shoot around today that our playoffs essentially start today um, and it was going to feel like a playoff game. And the good news is we shared with them that regardless of what happened tonight, um, we weren't going to be out of the playoffs. It wasn't going to be a one and done. We were going to wake up and be fine. So let's lay it all on the line and, and play hard. And um, can't be more proud. We, we dug ourselves a little bit of a hole, and, and Vegas is so difficult to keep out of the paint. And they were crushing us with points in the paint at, at one stretch. Um, but uh, be, the combination of Alyssa Thomas, Courtney Williams, willing us at the offensive end, um, and then some uh, intense uh, defensive stops in the second half and uh, a better job of keeping them off the foul line uh, really contributed to a big win. That's a big win for us um, right now, if, as much for psyche as anything else, that we could step up in big games uh, and rise to the occasion. So really proud, 14-1 and one at home. That crowd uh, deserves a lot of credit. They give us energy when we our tank is on empty and they continue to give us energy and it's uh it, it, we don't take it for granted that we get to play in front of an incredible fan base you've called at the heart and soul of this team is that one of the more courageous efforts you've seen as but, a coach yeah i mean she just uh you want to talk about downhill like she was playing downhill all night um more and more teams uh put fours on john quell and, and put fives on her and she just continued to put pressure uh, on Liz um, going to the basket. And again, um, JJ only played six minutes in the first half. We had trouble getting her in a, in a groove. Um, and, you know, she was our AT. We, we referred to her as our engine, and she was our engine. And playing downhill uh, can't be understated. And she even left a few points out there. She missed a couple layups that I know she'd like to have back, but um, was – constantly in attack mode and that was huge for us. Kurt, what does that do for you and the team to see somebody like her just care that much? I mean, I don't know what other way to, to, to say it. 40 minutes, not never coming off the floor, playing, the point. playing, as, playing the point, playing as hard as she possibly can. What does that do? Yeah, I just, uh, you know, there's there's n nothing bigger in this league than peer um, accountability and uh, peer modeling uh, behavior. When you see your teammates laying it all in the line, and it's every day, when, when players model behavior in practice, it's hard not to follow those people. When they model a behavior in a game and, and her toughness and her will willingness, uh, it's hard not to follow her. And then it gives credibility that of the tough talk. Uh, those guys had some important tough talk out on the floor together, in huddles together, um, and they were challenging. And I, I'm not sure we were we we would be mature enough um, a couple years ago to have those kind of discussions um, in a game like this. And uh, you know, it just uh, you could see it. You could see it in her and Courtney, and it was just a, a different feel. Uh, it's hard to muster that kind of energy 34 times a year, but you could just tell there was a different feel. That took on a playoff game atmosphere, um, slugfest in the second half, and we're going to have to win those games if we want to achieve some of our goals. Yeah, there's two incredibly good performances in a matter of a week. Super seven points down, 147 a couple of, days, a couple of games ago. It seems like a little bit of a change if they really can step up and yeah. in a way that wasn't the same early on. Yeah, um, you know, and different. You know, like we could play that Seattle game those last 90 seconds 25 times and may not get that result. But um, everything fell in place and we didn't quit. And, we, and, and, you know, hopefully we created a lot of those opportunities. And tonight, um, you know, some – some teams on some given nights would have gone away tonight. You get down by 11 after having an 11-point lead. That's a 22-point swing in a short amount of time. Um, then you could go, uh, we only have nine players in uniform. Like, maybe it's not our night. Uh, but to their credit, they, they never quit. Um, you know, especially in this building, uh, you, you're, you're going to have them fight all the way to the end.
the defense in that third quarter, it, it seemed like there was just such a huge difference between the second quarter and third. Was that just mainly having John Quill back up? Is that just open things up defensively for you all? It, it was amazing. Coaching yeah. adjustments. I don't know who did that. But, <laughs> uh, had nothing to do with it. Um, had nothing to do with it. JJ, as you say, gives us some rim protection. She only played six minutes. Um, but more than anything, what I thought we did was we played tough without fouling. And, you know, maybe they, they um, let a little bit more contact go in that third quarter when we needed it. And, but that was the big difference. We were, we were making them make some tough shots around the rim um, and, and really trying to be physical with them but tr be disciplined and not foul them. And JJ contributes to that. I mean, obviously she got her hands on a bunch of balls. You know, I never know. You block, you know, six block shots tonight. You know, with six, you know, like with six games to go now, um, she has a very, very strong chance to finish, you know, leading this league in, in shot blocks. And that was not her strength her first couple of years. So her rim protection is huge for us. And um, obviously a short bench, but some, Morgan and uh, Rhea just had some phenomenal performances. Yeah, it should be a, it should be a huge story, maybe in the second paragraph or third paragraph, but there should be dedicated space to talk about Morgan Tuck yeah. and with us ability to go big. A lot of teams have not been able to match now that they have Wilson Hamby and, and Liz on the floor at the same time. That is not easy to match. We were able to do that with Morgan's defensive ability, but also she moves. She helps our offense run because she moves better. She got a three because she's spaced. She got a backdoor layup because she's constantly moving. And you know her her minutes um, again were invaluable. She deserved part of a paragraph of this uh, game because she was a big part of the story. You hold your uh, hold your fate in your own hands in terms of second place. Now. You've got the tiebreak over these guys. You got the tiebreak over over um, over Washington. Kind um, of a good road trip. Yeah, you know this. This is a difficult three-game road trip, and we need to steal some. Um, we know that um, we got a long way to go. Just because we have tiebreakers doesn't mean anything. We got to we got to still win games. Um, and I hope and I hope someone will write about that. This is the first time in history of our franchise that we've had three straight twenty-win seasons. Um, they had some great years here and close, uh, you know, final final appearances and almost got the championship, but. They did never had three straight 20 win seasons and for us to do that was still a very relatively young team. Um, really proud of what we've accomplished in the regular season.